Hi, hello, namaskar. This is Anko Pratibha Patil. On the occasion of World Cancer Day, we are going to have a brief conversation with Dr. Asma Pathan. The Pratil lady is beside me, and we are going to have a brief conversation with her. She has completed her MBBS in MT in General Medicine, as well as she has completed her DNB in Medical Oncology. She is currently working as consultant medical oncologist at Indrani Cancer Hospital. Hello, ma'am. Hello. First of all, thank you so much for sparing out your valuable time. Uh, I like to know what exactly is kidney cancer and what are the types of kidney cancer. Okay. So I'll be talking you about the kidney cancer, how it like how it occurs. Kidney cancer is a cancer which starts from the kidney cells. Uh, usually, those like we are in a kidney cell, we have some proximal convoluted tubules. From there, the cancer arises, and we have different types of uh, kidney cancers. Uh, like first, the most common is the renal cell carcinoma that occurs in 90% of the adult people. The next one we have a transitional cell carcinoma that also occurs in uh, adults, and it usually arises from the ureter and the bladder type. Usually, the bladder, the down where urine gets collected, from there it arises. And the third one is the nephroblastoma that occurs in children. It's very common in children less than five years of age. So that is uh, rare to be seen in adults. Uh, these are the different three types of kidney cancer. Okay. So what are the exactly signs of the kidney cancer? Kidney cancer. So usually, it occurs in a, a age group of like 50 to 60 years. Very common in that group. Usually, patient presents with either a hematuria. Hematuria means blood in the urine. Okay. So the next uh, symptom will be like there will be a pain in the abdomen, there will be lump in the abdomen. Lump means there will be a mass. The, usually when patient is having bath, he will feel the lump in the uh, uh, his abdomen. The third one will be like a fever. We have a renal triad. We call it as a renal triad. In a renal triad, we have three things, how it presents. Like the patient might be having hematuria, plus uh, there is a lump in the abdomen. Third will be like a fever, high grade fever. The patient will be having fever. This is called a renal triad. That is classical of renal cell carcinoma, like RCC. We see in those patients. And the other symptoms are, they might present with like vague symptoms of ca any cancer, like weight loss. There will be decreased appetite. There will be tiredness, fatigue. These are the symptoms like similar to other cancers the renal cancer patient might have. Okay. So basically these are the early signs of the early signs cancer. of kidney okay. cancer. So uh, how the cancer gets diagnosed? So uh, like when a patient ha is having symptoms, he usually present to a, a local physician or a local surgeon. So those people, uh, doctors will evaluate him for the symptoms, like whether he has a hematuria, he has some fever, he will, he'll be evaluated for that. So they'll undergo clinical examination, they'll undergo blood tests, they'll undergo, undergo ultrasound, abdomen and pelvis. And if they find something in that, so they'll be referred to a medical oncologist or a medical oncosurgeon. So in a, as from our side, a patient will be evaluated for either a PET scan, PET CT scan to see the stage of the kidney cancer. The second will be we have to go for the biopsy to see which type of cancer it is, uh, uh, which uh, it, what is the pathology of the cancer. So these are the uh, tests we get it done for a kidney cancer patient. Okay. If the patient gets to know that he is having a kidney star, a kidney cancer at the very early age, mm -hmm. then what are the chance, chances to cure that? So in early stage, if it is very early stage, it's only localized to the kidney, then the pers person is like cured. We have okay. a cure for kidney cancer. If it is an early stage, the patient undergoes surgery. Uh, if the surgical report comes as like negative margins, no high risk features, he is free from the disease. Okay, great. So five years survival is around 90% okay. in stage one and stage two. Wonderful, wonderful. Ma'am, um, uh, I'd like to know about the treatments of the kidney cancer. So, uh, treatment of a kidney cancer, it depends on stages of the disease. Okay. If it is early stage, localized to a, a kidney itself, it's in the uh, kidney itself, it has not spread to the lungs or to the other organs, then surgery is the best option. Great. We go for surgery, then patient is like later uh, determined for what adjuvant treatment he has to be taken, that will be decided later. The second option we have is the uh, chemotherapy. Your patient presents in a high, uh, higher stage, like stage 4, when he has multiple meds. So we have uh, chemotherapy, targeted therapy and immunotherapy, depending upon type of cancer. Yes. And last option is we have clinical trials going on in the country. So which are the best treatment and they are being like they are into this uh, like they are they give a best results in a clinical trial. If a patient gets involved in a clinical trial, he'll get a best results. Great. What are the exactly precautions one should take uh, to avoid uh, kidney cancer or to reduce the risk of kidney cancer? 
सो एज पर एज वी नो कि फॉर एवरी कैंसर एनी कैंसर और एनी डिसीज वॉट प्रिकॉशंस वी हैव टू टेक द सिमिलर वे वी हैव फॉर रीनल किडनी कैंसर एज वेल सो वी फर्स्ट थिंग इज द डाइट वी हैव टू हैव अ गुड बैलेंस डाइट द सेकेंड वन इज द एक्सरसाइज वी हैव टू एक्सरसाइज रेगुलरली टू मेंटेन अवर प्रॉपर वेट प्रॉपर हेल्थ and the third is like, avoid the addictions like alcohol intake tobacco intake smoking uh, all those uh, addictions should be reduced or uh, stopped and we should uh, make a awareness about all the cancers early symptoms of uh, cancers so that we can detect them early and treat them early mom mm-hmm. um, the word cancer uh, brings a fear into the mind so uh, i like to know i know it's going to be depend on the stages and the therapies also but i would like to know the general cost of the therapies or the treatments you see as such uh, cancer treatment in india is very uh, expensive so if we detect it in a early stage if a patient can come in to us in a phase where we can cure him then the cha- uh, chances of him having a financial loss is less compared to once he comes in a uh, higher stage stage 4 that time the treatment options are less and we have to go with the best, best of the treatment so that time immunotherapy and all it will cost in lakhs so the later the stages advance the stage more financial loss but in early stage early recovery is best it is just like stitching time saves life yes right right that is it prevention is always better than cure yeah prevention is better than cure <laughs> Thank and the uh, Uh, the other thing i want to tell people is that whenever you have symptoms consult a local physician if you are not getting relief with those symptoms try to consult a super specialist or a person who is best in that who is super spe- uh, specialized in that uh, subject so that you'll get a early treatment and a better treatment definitely thank you so much for sparing out your valuable time thank you for sharing the great knowledge with all of us thank you for sharing the knowledge with audience too thank, thank you, you thank you thank you Thank you.